Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, this is going to be the second time I did this video. Um, just out in the garage today, fiddling around, got the nervous twitchy twitches. Uh, it's been, oh, today's Sunday, it's been two, a little more than two weeks, two full weeks of not smoking. And uh, I can't say that I don't miss it, but uh, definitely happy I'm without it. I feel a lot better than I used to. And uh, that's the important part. Um, so anyway, I did want to do a video today on this, uh, shit, I don't even know what you call it. Uh, it's a, uh, the Dylan uh, primer tube filler automatic do jabby jobber thing. I'll, it'll be in the title. Uh, so anyway, um, show you how it works. Uh, basically, let me see if I can get the camera over here, get a better look on you. Uh, all right. Um, so basically, what's going on here is you have a circle, and then around the outside of this is a little ramp. And there's a piece of steel here, a little like sweeper is basically the best way to describe it. Uh, and then there's a divot. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Let me zoom in. Yeah, a little divot. It's kind of like a little bump. Um, and then there's another one of those right about here where this piece of plastic is. I don't know if it's a clear, kind of opaque piece of plastic. You can see it right here. Um, there's another one of those divots right here. Uh, basically this thing vibrates. And when you dump the primers in, they all line up. Because the, the center part of this is kind of like a bowl. It's convex. Uh, and they'll all kind of shoot to the outside and then as they vibrate, they vibrate up this ramp hit this piece of steel that's sticking out here. If the primer's on its side uh, or there's two primers stacked one on top of another, it will knock them off the little track and they'll have to come back over and make the journey again. Uh, all the ones that are flat, either upside down or upside up, uh, will hit this little dimple here. Now if they're upside up um, that's the way you want them. Uh, they're flat on one side. You've seen primers before. Uh, if it's upside down, it will fall off the little ramp uh, when it hits that little dimple. Uh, same with here. If this one doesn't catch it, uh, there's another one right here. So let me grab some primers. And I'll show you how it works. It's pretty cool. Uh, You just, also, you can tell uh, this little square area in here, uh, it's perfect primer stage area. So you just basically you uh, grab the tray and then pull the sheet on off. And there you go. So there's the primers. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see these primers, the way they work. Uh, the percussion, or the... the uh, explosive side I guess you could say of the primer uh, is not flat so when it does hit uh, these little divots it will fall off the ramp so turn it on and I'll show you how it works I'm just holding this too because it makes a lot less noise uh, you can kind of see that one that goes upside down, fell off the ramp. Just kind of watching this area. We're in this area. You can see how the ones that are on their side are getting knocked off. That yeah, fills them pretty fast. There goes one. Keep an eye on these two right here. It'll hit that dimple and they'll both fall off. There's another one. So you can see how it works.
The only thing that's a little irritating about this thing here is uh, when you get down to like the two stragglers. Uh, especially if they keep falling over and landing upside down, they keep going around and around and around. You spend the rest of your life waiting for one primer to fill the tube. Uh, but, uh, so it's, it's done now. Uh, also this thing runs on a two, two minute cycle, so when you hit the, the switch, uh, let, me just, let me back the camera back out here again. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a switch right Sorry about that, I'm on a tripod here, a big one. Uh, so yeah, that blue switch right there, uh, just a little pad, and then right below it, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a uh, knob, uh, turn a uh, dial, rather. Um, you can see it better there. Uh, basically that's to adjust the speed, how fast it vibrates. Um, but faster isn't necessarily better. Uh, it's all about the motion, baby. <laughs> no, uh, sorry, I had to go there. Uh, yeah, faster isn't necessarily better. Um, it messes up the accuracy uh, of the little device. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, after you get that part finished, let me take it over here. Sorry for the camera shake, guys. Um, I have a full primer tube right now, but uh, when I run out of these, I'll show you how this thing works uh, after you got it filled. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Alright, YouTube, uh, ran myself out of primers, so take the alarm off. And uh, actually, I should show you this thing. Uh, where are we here? Uh, this thing, you just push down on it. And slides right on out and like I showed you before there's this uh, little cotter pin here that you got to pull off but you don't want to pull it off until you have it above the uh, hole where the primer tube is so basically you set this down on there and you can listen give it a tap and there you go uh, it's that easy to load primers. Uh, it's better than using that tray thing, that's for certain. Uh, I would think, anyway. I've never done it. Uh, I'm all for automation. If uh, you can make it automatic and make it work, it's good. So, uh, alright YouTube, I'm going to carry on here. Uh, just making bullets on a Sunday afternoon. Somebody needs to write a song about that. Alright, YouTube, take it easy. SoCal out.